with a huge consumption of home rule throughout the northern province and with associated killings and lawlessness currently being experienced, local authorities, in partnership with police, are beginning to act now. The initiative of nightly curfews was welcomed by a lot of people in the province. MTV News spoke to a community leader and this was his take on the pressing issue of lawlessness in Oro. My community, which is Ward 2 of Higatudu LLG, is, uh, is also affected by this uh, issue of Eveka. The young people engaged into this activity. Uh, there seems to be no way out for them. Activity, no way out, meaning there seems to be there no other activity for them to engage themselves into. The illegal consumption of this dreadful homebrew, commonly known in the province as Eveka, has caused mental instability and serious health problems to an individual with youths as the main people affected by this. I wouldn't address this to a leader in the community. I would rather address this to each parent in the house. It is his child that is going, uh, who is going around doing this. According to Mr. Gariha and others we have talked to, it is welcoming and encouraging to see police boosting manpower and working closely with the provincial government to commence these nightly curfews. Local police under the leadership of Provincial Police Commander Inspector Ewai Segi has established a number for the general public in Norton to call if and when they encounter unlikely situations. Everyone is expected to abide and be indoors by 10 p.m. However, essential service providers like health workers will be issued a special curfew pass and be exempted. Those who need urgent medical attention during the hours of the curfew can access a special pass from the office of the provincial administrator, Trevor Magee. Lindy Suharupa, National MTV News.